Eric July, the creator of Ripperverse, which has produced ISOM 1, ISOM 2, and Alpha Core 1, has announced that the lawsuit he had with some random school of ministry that happened to have the acronym ISOM, that the lawsuit has settled. That was his word. He thanked the ministry for coming to a term. What happened was this ministry got coaxed by certain people who won't who will remain nameless. They got coaxed into suing him, claiming that ISOM violated their intellectual property, their copyright, trademark, whatever it was, even though theirs was an acronym and his was uh, uh, is the name of his superhero. So that's not how trademark and copyright work. It you you can't say this acronym is stealing from my character. That is not how it works. That's not how it has ever worked. It's only under very rare circumstances that that is the case. And it was it was completely meritless. I called out the leader of that and I'm not saying this to my own horn, but I did call out the leader of that school of ministry. I said this is not how Christians behave. I said shame on you. Like because because he absolutely should have been held accountable for that. And what's interesting is then uh, there were people who were agreeing with the lawsuit. I mean, there were, I won't say their names because I don't want to farm drama like a lot of channels, but it was very bizarre. The mental gymnastics they were doing, even people who you would think would be on Eric July's side would. And there was a lot of, comic skate keep people coming out which they would again you would think they would support eric july who's just making comic books to entertain and whatnot but they i honestly think it was jealousy you know they were calling the the rip verse they were calling it the rip off verse and quite frankly i think it was just jealousy because his first three campaigns have been a smash success yeah, it was strange. Yes, I totally agree, Pixie Ray. It was absolutely strange the amount of people who were coming out of the woodwork to attack Eric July for just making a comic book. Three comic books, three successful campaigns. Full disclosure, I supported all of them because I believe in ISOM. I believe in the Ripperverse. I am a fan of it. And this is what annoys me about this sometimes is I just want to read comics. I'm so tired of this. And uh, Pixie Ray says, I agree. A lot of people showed their true green color. Yes. And I called some of those people out personally. I don't work for the Ripperverse. I don't get a paycheck from them. I give them my money <laughs> because I just want to read comics. Well, now that the lawsuit is sell it, uh, settled, some of the naysayers are now trying to spin it that he lost. Okay. First of all, the lawsuit never went to court. So there is no loss. What are you talking about? They settled out of court. So he, he gets to keep Isom as a superhero. He's going to continue to make Isom comics. The, the Christian ministry school that sued him, they're backing off. What's the loss? I'm confused. Did he have to pay their attorney's fees or something? I don't think so. He hasn't disclosed that. Maybe he did, but I don't think so. I think that it was not, I think it's just people coping. They were wrong and uh, this lawsuit was settled and good for Eric July for sticking to his guns and for producing comment. I am so tired of this drama. The whole point of us saying no to the big two comic book studios and all the sub ones that have gone woke is that we just want to read comics. We're tired of this infighting. We're tired of this drama. Oh, I'm comic skate. Oh, I'm war campaign. I just want to read comics. I like creators from all these little breakoffs. Now it does seem to have calmed down a little bit like comics game gate in the war campaign competition has kind of died down they seem to have come back together so good for them i think there's still some stragglers but i just think that this whole situation is dumb i think that uh, eric july is doing the right thing because the the woke people said hey stop complaining about how comic books are being represented and do something about it and he said okay and he did something about it i think that's great Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up, that you'll leave me a comment, tell me what you think, that you'll share it out with your friends, and of course, consider subscribing to Studio Jake. I cover all kinds of nerd and pop culture topics, including film, television, anime, comic books, and so much more. 
I hope that you'll also head over to my main website, studiojakemedia.com, where I have even more news, views, and commentary. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, head over to my Locals page. That's studiojakemedia.locals.com. It's the best way to support me. I'm trying to build a little community there. I have exclusive reviews and articles, so definitely head over there and check it out. And I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake.